Hey everybody, it's Zen the Crypto Queen. I have a Facebook page of that same name and on Twitter it's XRP Crypto Queen. Uh, just wanted to say this is not financial advice. I'm simply sharing what I do. And in this case, I am talking about XDC today. There's been a lot of confusion and I'm sorry I started a little bit of it with a prior video. Um, so I just want to tell you, just in all honesty, I sold my XDC uh, I traded it, yeah, I traded it when? <clears throat> oh, this is, this is today. Let's see, one month. Where did I? I traded mine now, yeah, early in November. Yeah, somewhere in here. I mean, it's 30 cents, so it's not a big deal. And I traded it for... XLM and I moved that XLM over to Exodus and then I moved it onto my ledger. Okay, but enough about me. Let's talk about you. If you still have XDC, <clears throat> which runs on XDC network, you can put it on an online wallet called Synfin. On the Synfin uh, XDC network. Okay. So what you would have to do is go here. I'm going to create a new wallet even though I don't own any just for the heck of it. And just to show you, you and only you are, yes, it's like any other wallet, correct? Okay, so I would have my notebook out right about now and writing this down. I also keep two notebooks, one in one place, one in another, neither one near my ledger. Okay, so I would highly suggest that, suggest that for you. I used to keep three, but it got confusing because sometimes I changed my passwords and you have to go find all three notebooks. And I don't feel like doing all that work, so I keep it at two. Here we go. Next. Where are they stored on the blockchain? What is blockchain? Well, I guess you can click here and find out. If you don't know what blockchain is now and you're in cryptocurrency, you know what? Comment below and I will make a video about that, okay? Or you can click here and I'm sure it'll explain it quickly to you. Okay, so XDC wallet doesn't control your funds, you do. <clears throat> what if I lose my keys and passwords? Yeah, that's the problem. That's why I'm telling you. Two notebooks, handwritten. Please don't put this on a spreadsheet unless you know how to do heavy encryption because if you're putting any amount of money in here, and I'm assuming it's at least $500,000, you don't want to lose that. Um, so XDC wallet doesn't store your data. If you don't have your keys and set up a password, um, it's gone forever. Same with your ledger. So please, please have your ledger, keys, and password written in a safe place, two notebooks, Make sure those notebooks go nowhere near each other and nowhere near coffee, okay? Or whatever it is that you, beverage you drank when you're moving your crypto from one to another because you can't retrieve this information. It's yours and yours alone. Okay, now I think I stressed that enough. We're not children. Let's go on. So never give your private keys to anyone. Well, who would you give it to, really? Don't trust any free XDC. If they're giving away free XDC, it's not real. That's true. Don't fall for scams, people. Be care be very careful. And you can always feel free. Support at Zenfin Network. There you go. Okay, so if you have questions, you can always hit up that. Next. All this sounds hard. What's the upside? Well, the upside is that you get to keep your uh, cryptocurrency on a separate uh, wallet. Okay, your digital assets are not controlled by any bank or government. Oh, not so far. And hopefully the SEC clears up all that nonsense pretty soon. You're the only one who has access to your funds, so you can instantly transfer them to any other address on the blockchain without depending on permission, limits, authorization, blah, blah. Okay, so those are the only pieces of information, your public address, your private keys. So, yeah, once again, make sure you control those. Okay, thank you for reading through that. Okay, boom, get started. All right, so password. I would I would enter one, um, but I'm not going to really use this um, wallet. Okay. Your password by mnemonic phrase. Okay, so you answer that. Okay, they don't want me to do this. Okay, so I'm going to just do synfin and my usual stuff. I like a good, strong password, so let's see. Will I remember that? Yeah, I will. Okay. 
here we go. All right, so this is just like your ledger. When you go to set up your ledger, you have to um, write down your mnemonic phrase, key list, and do it in order. Okay, so strategy, alpha, clog, alcohol, tortoise, okay, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then, um, okay. Well, I suppose if I'm going to set this up, but I don't have any XDC at the moment, so I don't really care. Um, but I, I will take, I'm going to recommend that you don't do this. <clears throat> I'm going to take a screenshot. I'll write it down after I finish this video, and then I will delete this screenshot, okay? All right, do not forget to save your password. I wrote down my mnemonic phrase. Okay, fine. Let's talk to her later. Okay, I wrote down my mnemonic phrase. Okay. Now you have to fill in the empty boxes to verify your mnemonic phrase key. Okay, let's do this. Um, so this is new on this one. All right, so you can verify that. I will do that later. Once you hit verify, you're into your wallet, okay? So maybe I should just do this. <sighs> I was hoping to avoid this, but let's do it. Maybe this will help somebody because I remember being... Um, Kind of freaked out about when I set up my um, my ledger a while ago, and uh, it's nothing to get freaked out about. I don't know why I was. I guess I just thought, what if I write things down wrong? What if I do this or that? And, you know, really, it's all not a big deal. You just write it down and put it some, store it somewhere where you know you can have access to it anytime. And I suggest always do your uh, financial transaction transactions in the privacy of your own home um, you could if you absolutely need to you see something drop like a stone and you want to buy while you're out let's say <clears throat> on um, uphold or bitrex or wherever and you want to buy right away uh, always use a vpn at minimum um, or you know freaking run home and buy that stuff okay all right so i wrote all these down oops I wrote down parrot instead of patrol. All right, I wrote down my mnemonic phrase. Okay, here we go, so let's do it. I actually don't care that you're seeing all this because I'm setting it up, but I am not gonna use it. As I mentioned, I sold on my XDC, so no need. Um, I think uh, in, in in terms of the X's, you know, the XRP, XLM, XDC, yes, I wanted to own some XDC, but the truth is, is that I have fairly big bags of XLM and XRP, and I really don't need to watch one more coin. I'm good. I still do have, what's going on? Come on. It doesn't like me doing that now? What's the problem? Boop, boop. Come on. All right. Let me so this will happen to you sometimes. So, again, don't get freaked out. Just look at what you wrote down. Sometimes you spell it wrong or something else, and you can always go back, just like I am, and um, check it out. Okay. Success. See? Happened the right time the second time. Okay. So here we go. Unlock wallet. Um, Jeez. You know what? I never save auto save stuff to uh, whatever. Okay, coming soon. Ledger wallet support. Okay, so they don't currently have a hard wallet, Trezor or Ledger uh, that works with this. So just letting you know. But if you're not using this and you need a Ledger, my link is in the description box below, along with all my links to all the exchanges that I currently use. Okay, including Crypto Tax Trader, so you can have that also. Okay, so that's it. Let's click on that. Okay, so access by private key. Let's let's do the mnemonic phrase here. Let's see what they want. Oh, okay. So I would have to type in my mnemonic phrase, all those words, the 12 words that I just wrote down. And I should write down that this is in Finn. Okay. Um, I may use this, I may not. I don't, like I said, not holding any at this point in time. So that is how you open a Sinfin wallet. Uh, sorry for the confusion on that. And let's see, today XDC is at 
Oof, really? Two cents. It's very tempting to snap some up, and I might. I might do that. Now that I have a wallet that I can keep it on, I might run over to Uphold and, and buy, I don't know, some. I don't know how much. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. watching. Um, love you all, and I want you to do your best with crypto. And sorry for the confusion on the last video about XDC. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Ciao.